Hey, I'm Tim from PayM Data Recovery, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to restore your backup onto an iPhone using a Windows computer and iTunes software. What we'll need today is the hard drive we sent you with the backup, a cable to connect the phone to the computer, and the phone itself. All right, now we'll do the steps, and hopefully we'll be a successful recovery. All right, we're gonna start now. Um, let's try. All right, first things we're gonna do is we're going to take the hard drive out of the box that we sent you and connect that into the computer. There will be a USB cable in the bottom of the box. So that's we just need to connect these up. Give it a moment to boot and we're going to open up and explore a window. As you can see, it's mounted here. Our drive is called the job number that we were given you. So yeah, you'll see a five digit job number. First thing we wanna do is just make sure our computer has enough space. So you can see from the devices in here, our hard drive, we still have 51 gigs free. And if I click into our hard drive, we see the iPhone backup. And this is the backup file that we need to transfer. So if we hover our mouse over, it'll give us the size. We can see 1.38 gig. We can also right click properties and it will tell us the size. So as long as your computer has enough space to put this back up, we're in good stead. But yeah. So now we want to close this window. The main thing we need on a Windows computer is we need to have the latest version of iTunes. So we've got iTunes downloaded here so we can double click and open it up. And we need to, we can hit help check for updates, and just make sure we have the current version of iTunes. So what we need to do now is we need to put the backup onto the computer. So again, we come back to the Explorer window, open up our drive, open up iPhone backup. Now what we can do is we can right click on this and copy. And then we're going to come into the address bar up here. I'm going to highlight it. And we're going to need to press percentage sign, APP for app, and then DATA for data, no spaces, and then end it with a percentage sign. So we should see percentage, APP, DATA, percentage. And then we're just going to hit return and search. Then we're going to click on the Apple computer folder. It might also just be called Apple, depending on your software, it'll either be Apple or Apple computer. We're gonna double click into this, and then we're gonna double click into Mobile Sync, and then we see the backup. We need to double click into this. This is where we need to paste our backup. So if we've already copied it, we can right click, and we can paste, and we can let this transfer across. So depending on the size of your backup, will be depending on how long this will take. Ours is only a small backup, so it shouldn't take too long, and we get an idea of what the speed is copying if we want to. So we just have to wait for this to complete, and then that way our backup is stored on our hard drive of our computer. So we just wait for this to complete, and then we're gonna come back to iTunes. All right. All right, so the backup transfer has completed. As we can see in the backup file we're in, we do see our backup, so we know it has completed and it is on the hard drive. So we can close this window and we can come and open up iTunes. Now what we need to do is just connect the iPhone into iTunes. Just grab a normal lightning cable, or if it's an iPhone 15, it can be a USB-C cable. And we're just gonna connect the phone now we will have to unlock the screen just to show that we can trust it. So you usually have to press trust and then you have to press your pin code that unlocks the screen. All right, this is asking if we would like to have access and yes, we have to say continue. Now we give it a minute and it will mount onto iTunes. We will get a little icon appear next to music that looks like a phone. Here we go. Um, 
So what we do is we click on that and then that takes us to the phone options. As we can see here, we get a lot of options to backup, to restore. It'll tell us when we did backup, if there is a backup on the computer, it will allow us to encrypt a backup. So if we want to backup, we can password protect it. Down the bottom, we do get a menu bar that just shows us what the phone has stored on it. As I can see, it's broken up into just different colors and it'll show you what you have backed up and how much you have free. But what we're gonna be doing today is restoring a backup. So we need to hit the restore backup button. We have to turn off find my phone. So make sure you come into your iPhone, go into settings, click your name, find my, and then turn it off. It will just ask you for your Apple ID password. If you have a new phone, you will not need to turn off the Find My. It'll automatically come up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the Restore Backup. Here's a drop-down menu showing you all the backups that are currently saved on your computer. We only have one at the moment, so that's the one we need to choose. If you do have multiples, it'll usually show you the name of the iPhone and the date that it did a backup. So select the correct one. And then we're going to hit the Restore button. As you can see on the phone, the screen has changed now to restore in progress. It's now making space on the phone. Remember, this will delete the phone before you do this. So make sure if it's not a new phone, you've already got data on it, make sure to get it off because it will delete the phone to restore the backup. After the re restore back in progress screen leaves, you will see an Apple logo and a progress bar. That's the phone installing the backup. It usually will do the progress bar twice, the first time to install, and the second time is just making space and loading it onto the phone itself. So depending on, again, depending on the size of your backup, will be depending on how long this process will take. Once the restore is complete, you will see a screen like this, and you just need to hit continue. We're in the setup phase now because the phone did restore. We just need to fill in the normal setup steps like face ID, Wi-Fi, passcodes. I'll just do a quick setup. Your Apple ID will be needed if you need to restore any iCloud backups. So make sure you put the correct one in. I will skip it at this stage. So now we go to the home screen. As we can see, the apps now and wallpaper layout are in exactly the same place. If I open up my photos, I can see all the photos, all the photos that I had there. If I open up my contacts, I can see my <laughs> I can see my contacts are there as well. All other notes. These will all be saved and restored. The apps will be downloading because they need to download the latest version of the apps. So just make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and your phone has above 50% battery so it can do this. That is how you complete a backup. That was how you restore your iPhone backup that we sent you using a Windows computer and iTunes software. Hopefully it helps you out. If you do have any more problems, feel free to get in contact with us and we'll see if we can answer your problems and help you out. Thank you.